Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. This is chapter 22 and in the last chapter we had Ike and his army invade the Ben or not Benyon capital, the Dane capital, Dane Keep in Navasa. And uh, it turns out Ashnard had abandoned the capital after all. So he left his uh, the tactician, I guess Patrine's tactician, Ina and promoted her to general and put her in charge of everything. And as it turns out, he knows that Ina is a dragon. That's why he did that. So Ina is a, a dragon, which is a very like the strongest Laguz race out there. Actually, also is the longest living or Laguz race. They're actually they're just the most powerful race of all Laguz. They have the strongest uh, physical strength. They have the highest magical powers. Uh, rivaling that of the herons in terms of like magical balance and stuff. Some even say that it might be better than that of the herons. And um, yeah, they're just really powerful units. They also live like for thousands of years. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, how am I saying that? Whoops, that happened. Oh yeah. So yeah, there was a lot of chests and stuff. We managed to steal a lot of items. There was a physics staff. And yeah, we also got a new unit. We got Tyronio, who's a general, which is a promoted armor knight. And um, he's all right. He's uh, kind of not that useful for this game, but he's good at what he does. And that's just being a tank. Uh, he'll get doubled a lot. His speed is 13, which is pretty low for this point of the game. But he's got 22 defense, which is pretty strong. So yeah, um, he's pretty good at being a tank, but... He's not very mobile, so he's not good. Not as good, anyway. But, anywho, uh, the last thing I should mention is that it was kind of weird that I, I, uh, what I had to, I had to leave halfway through, or not even halfway, kind of near the end. I left because I had somewhere to be, so I had to do a, not like a true restart, but there was sort of a restart because I did have to leave and then come back later. Um, and yeah, I did save, so. Anywho, that's enough of that. That's enough recapping. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Overcoming many hardships, Ike and company finally arrive in the Dane capital of Nevasa. However, much to their dismay, King Ashnard is nowhere to be found. According to intelligence reports, the king of, is in Crimea's capital of Melior, preparing to wage war against Gallia. In addition, at least half of the Dayan army, including its most elite forces, remain unharmed and at his side. The Crimean army is again forced to march. This time, however, the battlefield will be their own homeland. Eagerly awaiting their arrival is a Dayan army more powerful than anything they have faced though, so far. This fact, coupled with Nasir's act of betrayal, has filled Ike with apprehension and disappointment. Yet it is then when all hope seems faint that an unexpected good or unexpected good news arrives. What is this unexpected good news? Chapter twenty-two, Solo. General Ike, sir, reinforcements have arrived from Benyon. Reinforcements? I haven't heard anything about this. Have you, Princess Valencia? No, not a word. Are you sure they're Benyon troops? Yes, sir. They fly Benyon's insignia. There can be no doubt of their authenticity. And the man in command is one of Benyon's most beloved heroes, General Zelgius. There is no mistaking him, sir. Allow me to meet with him first. I beg your pardon. Are you General Ike? I am. And you are? I am Zelgius, Earl of Cattle. I have been dispatched from Benyon with a battalion to support your army. Your assistance is much appreciated, but this is very unexpected. I understand your surprise. For Benyon's Imperial Senate, this decision was made with unusual haste. 
I imagine so. It took forever just to get the soldiers I have now. Well, there is a reason behind this expedited decision. Duke Persis has returned home. Do you mean Seferin? Correct. Duke Persis is also senior statesman of the Imperial Senate. The Duke returned from his travels and began working immediately to settle the pressing affairs of the state. First he met with the Apostle and then they exchanged reports on foreign and domestic matters. Then they discussed Benyon's position in the relation to the current conflict and also possible courses of action. Ugh. In less than a day they brought the entire Imperial Senate into line and sent us here to you. So you're saying that Benyon has allied itself with Crimea, is that it? That is it exactly. I am at your service, General Like. Oh, um, wow. Thank you. Now then, please tell me what you would have my men do. I am ordered to help in any way possible. Um, you caught me off guard. I can't think of anything right now. In that case, do I have permission to make camp around the palace and rest my troops? Yes, please do. That's no problem. Thank you. Please do not hesitate to call if you have need of us. We are at your disposal. Benyon reinforcements. That was unexpected, wasn't it? It certainly was. It seems the Apostle and Seferin are, did the impossible by getting them to us. All for our little army. It's hard to imagine that, or hard to believe they would go through all this trouble. First we take Dane's capital, and now this. Things are looking up. You're right. Even if we don't receive help from Kalia, we may still be able to defeat Ashnard. That's true. It's like a dream. I have to disagree. Oh, look. Soren is upset again. Who knew? What is it this time? If the Crimean army is not at the crux of Dane's defeat, this war means nothing. What does that have to do with the arrival of these reinforcements? The battalion that just arrived is greater in numbers than the ones we originally received. Not only that, but all of these soldiers are marching under Benyon's name. So? So, if these reinforcements are responsible for ki defeating King Dane, what do you think will happen? That achievement, the very victory itself, will belong to the Benyon Empire, not to Crimea. If that happens, Crimea will be rebuilt however Benyon sees fit, and Princess Alinsi will be a mere figurehead. And then, the deeds of an unknown mercenary company will be expertly covered up. We all receive some paltry sum of money and be swept under the rug somewhere. Mark my words. Soren, you're being so rude. Surely the apostle of all people would never do such a thing. And this General Zelgus seems sincere enough to me. Come, Soren, I've heard of situations like what you describe, but whether this is such a case. We've been fortunate to receive this goodwill. Must we always search for ulterior motives? Yes, we must! Have you forgotten Nasir? It is that sort of naive attitude that allowed him to remain undetected for so long. You people don't seem to get it. We are at war. All doubts, no matter how small, must be extinguished. If they aren't, we could well be ignoring something that will lead to our defeat. Or to our death. Let's take Soren's comments under consideration and discuss this at length. We meet in one hour. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. 60 gold? Where did we earn that? Oh, I must have sold some broken weapons or something. But that was like two days ago, so I don't even know what it was. Anyway, now we're down to 104,453 gold, but we're still good. 1772 combat experience. Pretty damn good. And 200 bonus experience. That must just be the clear bonus. No, like, extra bonus for doing it on, like, under a certain time limit or whatever. But anyway, MVP is Marcia, which makes sense. Jill and Tanith were asleep. Jill and Tanith would have been able to do a lot more if they were not asleep for five turns. So Marcia had to kind of pick up the slack. But she's a really good unit, too. Like, she's pretty much as good as Jill. Maybe not as good as Jill, but she's pretty damn good. Like, she's almost as good as Jill. That's, like, you know, Marcia's really, really good. But anyway... There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. 
But yeah, all right. Time to see some info. Youth. Hey, Ike, or General Ike, wait up. Say, if there's an enemy in my way, but I don't want to kill him, what do you think I should do? Is this about that stupid game again? Well, it's all your fault. You had to go and tutor Daniel, and now I've been on a losing streak. Tutor? You mean back when we were on board the ship? It was just one hint. Daniel isn't like me. He's smart. I'm the one who thought of this game, but he's the one who's getting better and better. Why do they ever win anymore? Instead of playing that game, why don't you try some real combat? Stop going on joking around. We're happy-go-lucky merchants, tra or traveling merchants. We don't know anything about fighting. Give me a break. It's nice you're having fun and all, but please. Can you save your stupid game for someone who's not fighting for their life day in and day out? Well, what do you expect? Everything's war, 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 and there's no place for us. All we can do is play this game. Sorry, I'll just go lose again. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look, if there's an opponent you don't want to kill, just shove him out of the way. Then you don't have to fight him. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. Um, you know, where we are, we'll be with you till the end. Wait, is that what he said? Did I even get that remotely right? Oh, God, no, I didn't. You know... We are what we are, but we will be with you till the end. I hope you can continue to be of service, alright? Or we can continue to be of service. Got it. Okay, read before you speak, ding me. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Sorry for being so irritable. That's alright. I know how much stress you've been under. So. Something on your mind? Oh, Commander Ike. Oops. I guess I'm supposed to call you General now, huh? Commander's fine. So, what's going on? You thinking about that person you were looking for? That's... all settled. Actually, no. It's not really settled. It's just... I figured that worrying about it all the time wasn't doing me any good. I turned over every nook and benya in doing my search, but... Or every rock, not nook. <laughs> it's just easier to assume that everything's going well, somewhere. Well, as long as you're happy, I won't say a word. So, what were you thinking about then? I... I didn't say anything before, but Dane's my homeland. Is that so? Yeah, two few years back, I lived under the slums, in the slums of Navasa and stole for a living. So anyway, I went back to my old stomping grounds and saw some friends. The rest of the city's empty, but they're still here. We've got no other place to go, you know? What did they have to say? Everyone was mad that Crimea had won. They said if the king had been there, there'd be no way they would have been defeated. So weird. Till now, all they've ever done was complain about this place. I see. You know, Ashnard wasn't such a bad king. At least as far as we could see. If you were strong enough, you could rise up and become a knight one day. You can escape the filthy slums. He was the only king who ever gave us that chance, that hope. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind fighting with all of you. But still, seeing your homeland scarred and trampled like that is tough. I'm sorry, I know Crimea is suffering in the same way, but I can't change how I feel. Hmm, well, he's got a point, I mean, hey. I mean, anyway, um, let's see some supports. Uh, Listen, Kieran, is Kieran really gonna? Nah, he's not really gonna talk to anyone else. All right, well, I'll have Riss and Kieran support. Should have done this a long time ago. Hey, Riss, nice day, isn't it? Oh, hello, Kieran. <laughs> what happened to you? Uh huh. What is it? There's blood gushing down the side of your head. Hmm. Oh, why? So there is. <laughs> isn't that odd? Odd. Please, hold still. Just stay there. Let me get my heel staff in. Heel staff? <laughs> I'm fine. A scratch like this will heal itself. You should have seen the time I fought the giant scorpions of... Oh my goodness, are you kidding? Please, hold still. Phew. That should do it, but... How did you hurt yourself? Oh, I was just training over there. <laughs> Must have gone a little crazy. Yeah! Wah! 
you sparring with? And why do they hit you so hard enough to draw blood? Sparring? Huh. <laughs> no one spars with Kirin. I'm too much man for them. No, I was just swinging my axe around. H how, how did you catch yourself swinging? Riss? I'm a Crimean knight. I fear neither blood nor pain nor terribly sharp implements being inserted into our... Oh... Eh? What's wrong, Riss? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I just got a little lightheaded there. Do you always put yourself through such harsh training? Of course! I'm a Crimean knight! I never cut corners in my training. Why, even if the enemy were to lance me with a thousand barbed and poisonous needles, I would never stop. Well, that's an admirable attitude, but I'm still concerned. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Alright, Jill. Mark, how you I just want to see Boyd and Mist, and then we'll be done with that one. Finally, Tanith and Oscar. This one I've been waiting for. Two Earth Affinity units supporting each other again. Oh, excuse me. Yes? Did you just drop this cloth? Oops, yeah, that's mine. Thank you for picking it up. I apologize for troubling you, Commander Ch Troubling you, Commander Tan. What is your name? Silly me, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Oscar of the Grail Mercenaries. It's a pleasure to meet with you, my lady. Hmm. I didn't thought you were one of the mercenaries. That's quite interesting. I'm here with only a minimal retinue, retinue but I hope that I can, we can demonstrate the greatness of Benyon's knights. I'm well aware of Benyon's reputation. It's an honor to meet the leader of such an esteemed force. You're too kind. It's a pleasure meeting you, milady. Hmm. Such a well-mannered young man. I just thought mercenaries were rude, crude, and vulgar men. Ike certainly has some fine lads under his command. Hmm. Short, sweet, and simple, but it kind of sets up for stuff later. Anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for me. I got Oscar and Ike to A rank, right? Alright then. See Boyd and Titania. Hello, Boyd. Titania? I'm not slacking. Look, I've done my training. Look, I'll do more. Yeah! Yeah! Wah! Boyd, I haven't said a word. Oh, yeah, I guess not. I'm so used to all our conversations starting that way. I didn't come here to chew you out. You don't need that anymore. We're fighting intense battles now, and you can't let your guard down, but you know that, right? I guess so. Trading has become instinct. That's all you need to survive. You've learned that lesson, Boyd. You'll be alright. Shoot! What? Did I, did I say something wrong? That doesn't sound right to Tanya. I feel like... Like you're praising me. Well, I am. You're a true warrior now. One of our best. Oh man, this is making my head spin. It's like a bad omen or something. I think it's scarier than being chewed out. I see. So, you want me to chew you out, huh? <laughs> Great, I can do that. No, that's not what I meant to Tanya. Okay. Ah, hell, I'll never see Shinon's supports ever, so I'll go ahead and read a few. Oof. <laughs> Sorry. That was me clearing my throat, not reading. Oof. Maybe I should. Oh, or then again, I could. No, that won't do. Hey. Hmm? Oh, uh, hey, Shinon. What the heck are you doing? It's really annoying. Shh. It's a secret. Whatever. See you around. Oh, wait! I was just joking. Stop being so mean and listen for a second. Will if you buy dinner tonight? Mm, Alright, but you better give me some good advice. Of course, of course. So, what's on your mind? I'm thinking about the reward we're going to get. I'm not sure what to do with it. Up to you. Spend it however you please. But every time I spend money, you give me a hard time. I do. How? How about the other day when I bought the ultimate shield? Gotri, that was a castle gate. Hey, did you ever give that back? That guard thought you were a thief. And remember the speed bring 4000? That elixir boosts your 
Or the secret elixir that boosts your speed just by sprinkling it all over your body? You mean that putrid snake oil? You dumped the whole bottle on your head without smelling it first. But it was- or that little wonderful potion worked! I did move faster! You moved faster because you were- <laughs> there were 30 stray dogs chasing you. See? You're giving me a hard time again. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Wow. It sure is fun to tell you the truth and have you grumble at me in return. No, no! I didn't mean to... <laughs> Sorry. Mm, you're too honest sometimes. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. Alright, let's go eat. Now that's spending wisely. Yes, let's... Wait a minute, Shinon! You didn't help me at all! This wasn't part of the deal. Alright, now let's see Rolf. Uncle Shinon! Wait, Uncle Shinon! What do you want, Rolf? <laughs> Look at this. Why are you showing me this? It's just a bent piece of wood. No, Shinon, it's a bow. You gave me my first bow and I wanted to return the favor. Making it one whittle at a time. I know it's not exactly the best looking weapon out there, but I hope you'll use it. Meh, maybe if I overhauled it, I may be able to call it a bow. This thing's gonna break the first time I fire it. You want me to be unarmed on the battlefield? Is that it? D I... I don't... Look, to begin with, you used the wrong kind of wood. This is much too hard and inflexible. Remember the bow I made for you? It didn't look like this, did it? But I worked so hard. It should be just like yours. Not even close. Not... Not, not even... Wait. Oh, crud, don't start bawling. Look. Let me give you a quick lesson. Wah, really? Promise? Oh, I'm so happy. Yay, yay. I love you, Uncle Shinon. Or Unky Shinon. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a promise. Now quit clinging to me like a lost dog. Hey, seriously. Rolf. Alright, well, there you go. We're done with that one. Uh, any others? Uh, missed support with anyone like that? I, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lloyd. Alright, well, now that I've spent, like, a long time doing all this, uh, it's time to sort inventory. I probably spent the duration of a normal video just reading all that crap. But, anywho, uh, I'll be back when I'm done moving inventory around and whatnot, so, yeah. Okay, this one was really short, so it's not gonna take too long to go over it. But, yeah, I traded, uh... Racing the night ring. Oh, yeah, I should probably equip that, huh? Uh, I just thought that he could probably get better use out of it and then um, I, I gave the archer band because what that does is that it increases the growth rates for skill and speed I gave uh, I gave Ike a secret book. That's like the first time I used the stat booster I think in this playthrough other than the uh, Seraph robe in the beginning actually but I thought about it he had only 13 speed and he's at level 7 which means he has the chance to grow 13 more levels but if he had 13 uh, skill right now even if he got skill every single level up he would not max out uh, 13 plus 13 is 26 and Ike's maximum skill is 27 so he would need at least one secret book to help him get his skill up. Now I gave him the archer band because I'm hoping that he can max out his skill. That the reason I want to do that is not only does that make them more accurate and give him a higher crit chance and whatnot, but it also is uh, the percentage on which Aether will activate. So now he has a 15% chance of activating Aether, but if I had it all the way up to 27, then I have a 27% chance of activating Aether. Which is roughly every once, once in every four turns. Right now, it's like about once in every almost six turns actually. So, it's pretty low, I would say. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of hoping uh, that it'll uh, it'll like work out. You know, if it doesn't, then I might have to use the second. Um, how do you say the second secret book? I have one more in here, so I could use that on him. But I'm hoping I'm not having—I don't have to use two. 
But yeah, I have a lot of stat boosters here that I've been kind of saving up for later. And uh, I've noticed that I have some Master Seals. I don't really need them anymore, to be honest. There's no one that I would actually want to promote. Uh, maybe I could, like, promote, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Ilyana, I guess. But even she's not going to be all that great. Uh, nah. The rest, I don't think I would. I could try voting Gatri and Z-Heart too, but for Zyheart. But yeah, I just don't see myself using them. So, I could, like, if I really was getting worried about losing money, I could sell these three. They sell for quite a lot. If we go to the shop, or not the shop, um, the sell. Look how much they sell for. They sell for, oh my god, how high do I have to go? There we go. 5,000 each. So that's 15,000 gold right there. And, uh, speaking of, I think I have some gems, right? No gems? Wow, I thought I did have some. Okay, well, I guess not. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I, there was nothing really I needed to buy. But yeah, if I did need to use, like, some gold, I could sell those. But anyway, that's about it. The rest kind of stay the same. I just gave her a steel sword now that she can use it. Uh, I gave him the ward staff. Gave her a javelin because she broke her other one. Uh, the rest are kind of the same, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, I gave you a Laguz axe, Mr. Karen. And... Turned in his items. I decided to store his items too. Gave him a killer axe. And... That's it. So yeah, it wasn't too long. I didn't use any experience or bonus experience because I didn't think I needed it. So yeah, we're done with that. So let's move on. So you're going to lead a small unit out on a survey mission? Yes, that's the plan. However, though we've taken the castle, there's still pockets of Dane resistance. It's possible they may try to mount an attack and retake the palace. I want you to be in charge of the watch. That is, of course, not a problem. However, you're taking the princess along. Don't you think it would be safer to take more troops? Even if we split our battalion, we'll have enough men to handle both tasks. I'm just not used to moving around in such a large group. And for this mission, I'd like to keep the number of people involved as low as possible. It's not that we I don't understand how you feel, but we will compromise. You know, for someone from Benyon, you're pretty flexible. It speeds things up considerably. To be a soldier, one must be capable to must be able to quickly adapt to the circumstances around him. All right, we'll be back later. Take care. This is the place Nasir mentioned, Palmeni Temple. I hope whatever he's trying to tell me will become clear once we get inside and look around. I still can't believe Nasir was on Dane's side. I just can't. And he let that dragon girl get away, although I'm sure he had his reasons for that as well. I wonder, was it really Nasir? Although besides my family, the only people I showed the medallion to were Titania, Princess Alencia, and Nasir. I thought I could trust him. I really did. Why? Why did he do it? Mist. Thinking about the past is not going to help. Let's take a look around the temple. Why did you say the Crimean army is here? They want to investigate the temple. What should I tell them? God, this ain't good. I don't want to. I don't know what they're after. But if they find us mercenaries who sided with Dane, they'll wipe us out. It's all the will of the goddess. Resign yourself to your fate. Accept it. Bat dumb. Ain't or no one's gonna roll over and die. Oh yeah, I can't just do that accent. Dance for sissies, so tell me how many of them there are there. There appears to be ten or so, including the women. <laughs> that's good news. It is? If that's a lot of them, we can take care of, them, of this on our own. It'd be like stealing candy or the baby from the crate. Right then, here's the plan. Pretend like you want to help them, and then lead them inside. And listen good, you better not whisper a word about us being here. Or else... But I couldn't... 
what you ask is beyond me. Don't forget, we got all the other priests under our control. Unless you want them to meet the goddess early, you do as you're told. Oh dear. Alright, we'd like to take a look around. Please show us each room. Uh, um, very well. This is uh, a very large room. Um, are you alright? Why are you shaking like that? Uh, oh, goddess, please forgive me. It's a trap! <laughs> You did. Please forgive me. I thought something like this might happen. I don't know what your tri uh, how you got wind of us, but showing up in such a small group means you're out of luck. And y'all gonna make it back out of here alive. We just fought our way through the damn capital. You're not even gonna slow us down. Cocky, ain't ya? But who said this was gonna be a fair fight? Eh? Yeah. Well, what are you doing? Hey, bring out the others. You fool's gonna be our shields. What? <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. You filthy dogs. Those are innocent people. You can't... Oh, mercy. Please help me. Hey, you want them pretty robes or you'd turn red? You'll attack this scum. If you even think about betraying us, I'll kill every one of you. But, but, you can't. Crimeans, please forgive us. We cannot allow our brothers to die. This cowardice will not stand. These priests are being made to fight against their will. We've got to try and save as many of them as possible. Let's go. Alright, so this is another one of those bonus experience chapters where not only can we get a lot of bonus experience, but we also get a really nice reward if all of the priests stay alive. Kind of like how we got the um, the Night Ring for um, keeping all of Raisin's crows alive. We have a similar objective. We have to keep all of the priests alive. Not one of them should die. If, they don't. What if one of them dies, I'm restarting. Thankfully, this is a lot more in our own control because uh, because they're not ally units or like partner units. The enemy won't attack them. Only we can attack them, which is very good because that means we have control, of, uh, like a lot more control. The only problem is is that they are placed in ways that make it kind of difficult to move around. However, they are pretty light. They only weigh like five, and or nine and not five. They only weigh like about nine weight. So, anyone of about equal weight, like if they weigh 9 or more, which is just about everyone here to be honest, um, they'll be able to push them around uh, and shove them out of the way. And yeah, just like on the boat when uh, Daniel was talking about, uh, you know, what do you do if there's like a boat connected at three points and you want to, you know, defend? This guy's like, what do you want to do if you don't want to kill a guy? You push him out of the way. So yeah, his conversation was a basic tutorial on what you're supposed to do in this chapter. So yeah, you push the enemies away. But yeah, so for this chapter, we're gonna want to have uh, a thief on our side. So we're gonna have Volk. He'll be our thief because as you can see, there are a total of six treasures. Now I do believe that, yeah, they, we drop, two of them will drop chest keys. Uh, yeah, so we'll have four chest keys. However, we'll still be missing one. Uh, or two rather. So we still need Volk because we do not have our own chest keys anymore. So yeah, uh, we're gonna need to have at least one thief and then we're gonna want to maybe steal some stuff from these priests. Uh, if we look at Tolmeni, uh, we can check these out. Maybe find an item that we could use. Like this guy's got a silent staff. Oh wait, he's way over there. We can't do anything about that. Oh well. Um. Well, there's a men's staff. This guy has a men, so we can heal or steal from him. 
This guy also has a men staff. Does this guy have a men staff? No, he's got a physic. So we're definitely stealing from this guy. And it's gonna be a little too hard to steal from this guy. I would like to kill that guy as fast as possible, to be honest, but uh, that's not gonna be too easy. He's got bolting, so he's gonna probably use that a lot. Now you're gonna find that a lot of these priests actually don't have anything on them. But that's fine, because, well, they don't really do anything. The only ones that we're gonna have to watch out for are Tol- oh, not Tolmeni, huh? Tolmenami, okay, so Tolmenami, and the- some other- there's some other priests. Oh yeah, these two. So these guys are bishops. The bishops, we're gonna have to be careful about, because they have light magic. In other words, that means that they can attack our own units. And if we are within range, they will attack our own units. Which is very much to our disadvantage because if, say, Ike was standing right here, then Tomonami will attack Ike and Ike will counter and kill him. And these guys have really low stats too. Like, look at their defense. Five defense. These guys will be destroyed. Even the resistance isn't that great for uh, bishops. Like the last bishop we fought had like 21 defense or resistance, and our bishop has 25 resistance. So that's like pretty low for a bishop. So even like magic users will be at bay. But yeah, so we're gonna want to have a thief, uh, and I'm gonna have like void. I'd probably like to have a. Uh, like different guys for this chapter. Like I might want to have Soren on this chapter. Um, matter of fact, hmm, as much as I like racing, I might drop racing. I'll drop him because it's gonna be kind of a weird like navigating thing him around. It's gonna be a little weird. So I'll drop racing in favor of having a uh, Soren. Could have Titania too, but I just want Soren instead. Just have a third healer. But yeah. Then again, having race is not gonna be too bad either. You know what? Yeah, alright, I guess I will have race in. Yeah, I should have race in. Alright. You know that actually the reason I'm getting Raisin instead of Soren is that Raisin has a lot of extra inventory space. So yeah, I'll go ahead and use him. Uh, let me go to items real quick. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and put this elixir back. I don't want it to get stolen or something. So yeah, alright. Oh yeah, I should probably reposition too. So yeah, if, if uh, Volk runs out of space and can't steal something, then uh, I'll have him trade to Racing. Alright, well, and plus having, you know, multiple movement is pretty good. Um, yeah, we can just have him. We'll have Volk start on that side, sure. If that's the case, we can put Racing on this side. Yeah, alright. I think that'll be our setup here. And yeah, alright. So we get a really good item if we keep them all alive, so... I don't think... I think this is one of the cases where you get more bonus experience than you would get, um... Combat experience. So... Yeah, do actually try to, um... Not kill the priests. Plus, you get the S-rank Asherah staff. If you don't kill any of the um, priests, which is really good. What that staff does is that it heals every unit on the map, or every one of your units on the map, uh, for all the health that they have, and it cures all stalement at, at status ailments. Oh my gosh, not stalements, but status ailments. Ugh. I don't know why that was such a mouthful. But um, yeah, so. That's really good. It basically resets everyone back to max, like how they were in turn one, like maximum health, no uh, status ailments. It doesn't matter if they are on the complete opposite side of the map. It has infinite range, so it is really good. Of course, it only has three uses to kind of counterbalance that, but regardless of that, it's 
very, 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 very good. So you're going to want to be, um, you know, you're going to want to have that instead of, you know, not having it. But yeah, uh, as for these guys, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, I'm going to try to keep Ike out of range. Actually, no, screw it. If he does get into range of Bolting, I don't have anyone that could use it anyway, so... Like, who cares? Alright, you go first. Uh, attack someone that you can actually, like, kill. None of them, huh? Wow, okay. How about you, Bo uh, Volk? Or you can steal. Oh, but there's nothing to steal. It was faking me out, what the heck? Alright, well, you go for this guy, the stiletto guy. Alright. There you go. Or not the stiletto guy. I mean, you have the stiletto, Mr. Volk. Um, 19, 20. Okay, let's go for this guy because we one round him. Okay. Nice job. Okay. You. We'll have Jill try to kill this guy. Oof, it's not quite enough. This is going to be a problem, too, because, um, yeah, if we, we can't have risk going for that guy. Boom. All right. Although, I guess now we could have risk go for that guy. Go risk. And not only does this increase his light magic rank, but it increases his staff rank, too, so I'm not opposed to doing that. Gives him a lot more experience, too. Alright. That'll do perfect damage. I'll go for this guy, the Steel Axe. And then we can go for the, uh, the Laguz Axe guy. We'll probably just counter him on the other turn. He'll probably just go for, uh, Riss. Oh, no, he can't even go for Riss. And... How bad will this turn out? Actually, pretty dang good for in our favor. Oof. Yeah, unless we got like super unlucky and got like a like we got critical hit or something. If we go like this, then that archer or a sniper will be able to get us. But uh, I'm not too worried about dying to him. I don't think we would get doubled. Yeah. And uh, the other guys won't be able to attack us because there's a um. There's a priest in the way. Yeah, miss. Wow, oh, okay. I didn't realize how many archers there were, but there's a lot of them. And there we go. These are the guys I wanted to go for me. The freaking fighters. But I guess I drew all the other guys, so... That's nice, I suppose. Okay. What's annoying though is that I'm gonna have to uh, fight those archers in player phase. I can't attack them or can't counter them in enemy phase. Oh shoot, there's another Nusferatu in the game? Oh my god! Okay, I might have to restart this then. Alright, we'll wait here. Okay. Sing for Boyd. Should have had the main guys kind of go out in the front. Shoot. I can't really deal with this. Yeah, I don't even care if it's an archer. If he steals that treasure, I'm restarting the map, man. Oh, man, this is... This is bad. He is gonna steal it. I mean, what else is he gonna do? I made a bad choice. You know what? I already know what's gonna happen, so I'm actually just gonna restart right now. Since it's only turn two, though, I don't really... I'm not gonna cut. I'm just gonna restart. 
And, uh, yep. All right. So I had everyone focused on the other side because there's more enemies on that side, but I probably should have had everyone fo like focus on this side. Matter of fact, yeah, I'll have my grounded units focus on this side and my flyers can focus on the other side because there's not a thief there yet. So that's not as high of a priority. I'll even have Ike go to the other side. So this will be the new like layout. Okay, now fight, all right. Okay. Have uh, you sing? All right. And you can try to go away one spot. Just go like this. And I'll always use the steel because I don't need to waste the cool sword. Now Riss is in danger right now, and I'm hoping I could get to the. Uh, the swords master before I uh, before anything too bad happens. Iron bow, can hand axe. Nope. Hmm. Well, if I have, oh yeah, he's still in danger. Shoot. Well, I trust Riss a little bit more than I trust, um, uh, than I trust Racing not to get killed. Although this might be a pretty bad gamble. Alright, go for one of these guys missed. Someone that you can actually take down. Alright. Missed, because of that missed sword I gave her, she's actually not a bad combat unit right now. I mean, sure, she's a little, like, soft, like, she gets killed pretty easily, but you know what? She can actually sort of hang in battle. Alright, there we go. So far, so good. Alright. And next. You hang with that. You take that guy down. So yeah, you know what, I'll do that. I'll just have you go for this guy. Yeah, you can take him down. Alright. Good, good job there. And... Kieran... Take out... This guy. Alright. And then you can take out... This guy. Okay, I guess you can't. Not yet. But we can at least start the process of taking him out. Alright. Ah, we missed. Alright. But yeah, I mean, he's he can't really do too much harm to the other guys. I guess we can have Tanith go this way. Alright, and yeah, don't call reinforcements on this chapter because they're really dumb and they'll just kill all of the priests, so absolutely do not call any reinforcements. And if you do accidentally do it, make sure they are on halt and that they don't do anything. Alright, survive this, right? Ooh, Riss. He's pretty fast though, right? He should not get doubled. Oh, I should just eat my words like a big old sandwich, Jesus. Well, uh, let's try it again for a third time. Oh, I trust Riss not to get killed out there. Yeah, right. Maybe Racing would have been better because Racing has more avoid, right? I can check. 17. Oh my god, yeah, he does have higher avoid, so he probably would have survived better. But, yeah. I mean, it's still a dumb idea to have either one of them, you know, just start off like that, you know? Okay. Tanith, you can deal with the mage. Yeah. Actually, this is the better idea. I should have done this from the start. 
I should have had Tanith go for the mage. Then I could have had, uh, you know, yeah, Risk and just... We'll still kind of start off the same here. Looks uh, all, like, normal-ish, right? But not quite. Because the difference was Tanith right there. So, now that Tanith has been moved, or Tanith has been able to take out that mage, I can actually have Ike stand in the way of the, um, of the, uh, the sword guy there. And I'll push this guy out of the way. It'll open up the path so now we could come in from here a little bit faster. And yeah, same old strategy here. Again, kill these guys. I think every restart, these guys' stats get, like, reworked. So it's not, even though you restart, you're not restarting with the exact same RNG. So you're not it's having the exact same amount of health and uh, the other stats for these guys. Who has this more strength? Yeah, 19, 24. All right, so you go for, um, for this guy then. All right. Perfect. Mist can take out the uh, sword guy, hopefully. And yeah, she still does. I think she does more damage this time. But yeah, I've noticed that when you restart, you get... And the enemies have slightly different stats. They'll still have like, the same items and everything. But their stats will be slightly altered. Alright. Boom. Boom. Alright. You stay there. We'll have Marcy go here. You can use the steel sword. Alright. You know, since we have weapon triangle, we can use that. Okay. So yeah, he can uh, attack all those other guys, but it doesn't really matter. Any of these guys have a uh, heal or anything? No? Alright. Alright, we'll just stand here. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Wow, he attacked at range 1, even though he was capable of attacking at range 2. I guess he was just that confident he can take Mist out. And hey, weapon level up! Sorry about the voice crack, whoop. But, um, that's actually really important. Um, weapon level up is actually, uh, something I've been trying to work on with, uh, Mist. And I just realized, maybe I should have changed my loadout. I, at this point, I don't want to have to restart, like, again. But I just realized that perhaps having, a uh, like, mostly flyers and riders was not a good idea. Because now, I, uh, oh shoot, I should have had Tanith go first and then Void. Oh, boy. Shoot. Man, this is embarrassing, but yeah, I gotta restart again. I know some of you guys are like, well, you didn't even get a chance to see what happened. But yeah, that thief survives, so that means he'll steal again. But you know what? Because you have to push and shove so many times in this chapter, I actually hate to admit it, but units that can't do that have less priority right now. So even, my, even Jill, who's so good... I'm going to prioritize having people that can push, and then I will have my flyers. I could use Shannon, but I just I just really don't want to, so no. Although I guess I can have him for one chapter, right? This is like the last time he will- no, actually no, he won't even be viable, so nah. Alright, well I'll still bring Jill and Marcia. And, uh, I could bring one of these two. Uh, let's see, should I bring you or you? I'll bring Kieran. Why not? But yeah, alright, so, yep. Um, yeah, I'll still keep racing. See, so yeah, I feel stupid for having to restart so soon, so many times, but like... At the same time, yeah, have, being able to push the units around is, like, kind of super important here. 
And not being able to do that is detrimental to the strategy, so... Yeah. And Rayson will just let everyone do something again. So even though he can't really push anyone because he's way too light, even in Heron form, um, I still feel like it'll be better to keep him than to replace him with someone that can push. Alright, this is going to change a few things up here. Okay. The font. Alright, well, we'll have Boyd do this. And risk, but now I just realized, yeah, I don't have... Because this is not Tanith anymore, I can't... Uh, I can't take out that, uh... The mage. Shoot. Well, I got Volk. I guess I could steal with Volk. Nah, no, shucks. I should have just done that instead of restarting, huh? Oh, well. Hmm. Let's see. I want to just clear out as many of these guys as I can. Ooh, uh, so dumb. I don't know. This is not even a hard chapter. But uh, I'm restarting a lot now just because of my own lack of like a, being able to do stuff. Let's see if Soren actually can do this. Yeah, he can. All right. Well, he really can. Holy moly. I was just kind of hoping he'd get a depth, but yeah, he got even better than that. He got a freaking crit. So that is like that does much more than just a. An adept. Good old Soren. You can always count on him. He's he's a pretty reliable unit if you use him correctly. He'll he'll dig. He'll get the job done. Uh, okay, we'll go for you because I want to increase his lance rank. All right. And you know what? I really don't care about keeping this one guy alive. Cause I think. Being able to um, kill this guy, I know I'm using a short spear, but I just think it's important to be able to kill this mage than it is to have that one guy be alive that like anyone can take out. So yeah, Boyd's in the way right now, so I can't really take advantage of that. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just to kill this guy, you know. And then Volk, you can just try to follow him. Alright. And yeah, he's gonna go for Mist, but Mist can take him. Alright, well I guess she doesn't kill him, but still. No damage, holy cow. And Ike will teach him a lesson. That's what you get for trying to take down Ike. And yep, that guy's gonna swipe asleep. But that's fine. Uh, why did it stop so long? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. And you know what? Yeah, screw this guy. You are dead. You gotta sleep. Send to the convoy. Alright, well, I guess that saved one use of Volk, I suppose. So there's that. Alright. Go ahead and uh, we'll use Volk and Stefan to kind of get this area uh, cleared up. So move you, and then Volk can move up. I can move down. I guess we can have Void follow. Same with Riss. All right. Um, so Mist is now leveled up, right? She's C rank. Perfect. That's exactly where I want her to be. Uh, can you shove this guy? Yes, you can. And now we're gonna go ahead and take you out. Poke really nice and hard. Stab him through the face. Level up. All right. Good, good level up, actually. Good job, Kieran. Just slap him right here in the middle. Uh, what are your weapons? Short spear, steel lance, steel lance. All right. 
Surely I only have to look out for the short screw guy. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the hand axe equipped then. Take that guy out. And then we'll put Jill, like, just somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright. What will the enemies do? Yeah, I figured this would happen, but well, I'm fine with that. And yeah, you can try to go for Stefan, but he's fine. Oh, yeah, I guess there's Jill here, but she'll be fine, too. Wow, okay, they're gonna go for Jill. She's like the stronger one here, though. Oh, well. I mean, these, these, are, these guys are asking for it. Jill, level up. Alright, let's see. What do you get, Jill? 37, 25, okay, nice. Good job, good job. Okay. Again, they're going for Jill. Bad decision, but... Oh, well. And then this guy survives, at least. Ooh, oh my, okay. But no worries, we can still take him on. Alright, let's see. If we use a killing edge, we can probably take this guy out. Yeah. See that to happen again. And it did not happen again. But we'll heal him with wrists. So he won't be too badly damaged. Nice, he leveled up. Good job. Alright, we'll go ahead and, um... You know what? Nah, I'll go ahead and steal. We got an Osferatu. Alright, now we'll go ahead and, um... As much as I, uh... You know, I don't really want to... Dude, alright, yeah, I'll, I'll see if, um... Void can do something. Well, what is this guy's crit chance? He's got, what, 24 crit against... Oh, that's still 14. Hmm. Alright, well, to kind of help out uh, everyone over here, I'll keep Marcia around. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Heal Stefan because he, he needs it. Lord knows he does. Alright. Okay. Iron bow. Oh, what's our chance with this guy? No, not, not too good. Alright, well, now we'll deal with him. No, dang. Um. All right, we'll try with this. This will be kind of chancy. Don't like having to do this. But I'll throw boy or not boy. I'll show you in here. That's not good. That's really not good. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep him here then. Uh, as for Ike, we'll try to lure in these guys again. Those uh, axe guys. Okay, you there. Use your like Lagoo's lance or axe rather. Wow, you can one shot this cat. Good shot. Okay, that was pretty easily done. You can just like Elwin this guy. Ooh, he does a lot of damage though. But we got a decent chance at dodging this. We just got to make sure not to get hit. Okay, well there goes that I guess. But. That's uh, not too bad, though, honestly. Uh, this guy's pretty weak. So... Let's see... We just can take this guy out, right? No, she can't. But she'll probably be able to take this guy out, so... We'll have Jill take this guy out, then. Oh, yeah. She takes him out pretty easily. Alright. And she can still fly pretty far. And then, um, 
you can take out this guy pretty easily. Whack. And one more. One more big chop. There we go. Nice, another level up. HP, strength, luck, defense, resistance. Or no defense, but HP, strength, luck, and resistance. Good job. Alright. And yeah, this guy's gonna try to use the silent staff. Hopefully it misses. Uh, it seems to have worked. Damn, that's rough. So what silence does is that it will prevent the victim from being able to use magic for a certain amount of turns. It's really bad, especially if one of your healers, like in this case, missed, gets hit by it because uh, that means you won't be able to heal unless you use like, oh wow, good job on the crit. Uh, unless you use like a uh, vulnerary or something. And yeah, I'm surprised that the guy went for um, Volk. Volk's not a like a normal unit they would go for because you know he's got shade and everything. No, no, no! Oh, it's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh. Dang, I restarted enough times, but all right, I guess we're restarting again. I mean, this time I will cut the video, but dang. All right, I'll just try to get to where we were. Where we turned four. All right, I'll go to turn three then. Uh, be right back. Okay, it said I'd be back on turn three, and now it is turn three. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do. I put Ike on this side because I thought maybe they could use the extra help. But yeah, let's see if we can finally take out this tiger. So, okay, good. We still got the crit. And we still got hit. Okay, good. But we got two crits. So now we took out the tiger in one turn. But yikes, look at that. Stefan is like one hit from dying. That's really not good. HP, strength, speed, luck. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Who should we go for? We can only go for that guy, which is not who we want to even go for remotely. Um, Boyd can take out this guy though, right? He can, yeah, he can shoot him. Oh, shoot, but of course, freaking Boyd missed. Oh, God. Alright. Soren can go for this guy. Soren's pretty reliable. He rarely, if ever, misses. Oh, hey, he got a level up. Alright. Magic, luck, resistance. Okay, that's perfect. Alright. Now I'll just use the steel. Don't need to waste the cool swords you saw in it. Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll use... Uh, I'll use... Marcia. I really want Stefan to be safe. So, if I can... If Marcia can still move in a way to... Keep... Stefan out of danger. Uh, that's not a bad level up. Take that. Okay, yeah, he, she can. She can move there. And how far can you move? What can you make Soren move again? So actually, we can have Soren heal Stefan, which will help out a bit. And yeah, that was maximum movement, so he can't do anything else. And yeah, we can use the mend on Stefan. Unfortunately, I, I actually did de-equip the restore staff that Riss had, so I can no longer uh, cure the status ailment, but that's fine. I'm not too worked up about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and give... Wow, all right, good job, uh, Kieran. Okay. Let's have... Let's have Jill. Go here. Yeah, give this guy an axe. Alright. Five HP. It's not a lot left. I just need Vulcan here so he can steal stuff. And mist. Get throw mist over like here. Maybe the short spear guy will What the Oh my, I forgot that guy had a heal staff. Not that he heals a lot of damage, but, you know, 
And I guess it was something I should have been taking note of. Okay. Will the other uh, spear guy move? The short spear guy? I feel like he won't. Also, yeah, I moved Volk to that side because I knew the thief was going to steal the first chest, so there's like no avoiding that. But since I could just kill him to, kill him to get the item, then uh, it wasn't really that bad. And then there's the two chest keys on that side, so it wouldn't really make sense to have Volk on the side where he wouldn't really be necessary. Here, he would be necessary, though. So I don't think there's a thief that appears on this side. And what's going on? Okay, I was like, what? what? why isn't anything happening? But no, nah, it's just, uh, they're just taking time to finish stuff, I guess. Anyway, can we still... Nope. Alright. Looks like we cannot one-shot the cat. That's fine, though. We do so much damage. Oh, that was a dumb spot to leave, Kieran. Why did I do that? Well, alright. Oh, and that's not enough. Oh, well. I think it would be more important to take this guy out. Uh, the other one, the other guy doesn't seem to be doing anything. The guy with the short spear, he seems to just be kind of minding his own business, to be honest. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll steal. Not from you, though. I guess I should have clicked chest, not steal. Silver bow, okay. And now that guy is kind of trapped, so... Alright, we'll just leave him there. Oh, yeah, I guess he's not trapped. I kind of forgot about how there were stairs there. Oh! Volk was tired of that guy's nonsense. And, yeah, this guy's going to try to bolting, but it's not going to... Oh, wow, I actually did hit. Never mind. But still, like... Not too, like, much, you know? Oh, wow, there is a thief. Well, okay. I guess that is something, but not like a big deal or anything. Yeah, let's go here. Let's just quickly finish this guy off. One hit. Well, he's, he's done for. You're not so slick. And then Volk can like just move around. I guess he could he steal the heal staff, but... That's the point. Man. There's no real reason to do that. Anyway, we'll have Mist take this guy out because this guy's on the run. He's trying to find. He's trying to get close to another healer. But we don't want that to happen. Especially not with that Physic guy. I really want that Physic staff. But anywho. Um. Alright, we got a chest key. Oh, you're the one with the chest key. Shoot, well now we gotta fly all the way down. And then, uh, take the chest key. Uh, who has it? Marcia does, right? Okay. So then we'll go like that. Spirit dust. Should, like, shove you out of the way. And do one more shove. There we go. Now Marcia will be able to go down. All right. We'll show you. All right. And we'll show you. And we can heal. Oh wait, we've, I guess we already did heal. All right, well now we can bird, like sing. <laughs> Not bird. I don't know why I said that. We could bird sing, I guess. I don't know what I was trying to say. And, uh, yeah, we can move away, which is nice. I'm just kind of glad I gave him the night ring. And then we can have Ike and the rest come down. Alright. Is there anyone to staff? Marcia, Mist, or Boyd. I guess I can mend with on Boyd. There we go. And let's just move ahead. Be careful not to attack. Oh no, not the unit that has a good amount of resistance. Alright. 
No new units? Alright, there are some new units. Okay. And chest. Almost accidentally attacked. I was like, whoa, I don't want to do that. Send Nosferatu back to convoy. Alright. And, uh, I could use Soren on the cat, right? Yeah, Soren can take this guy out. Go, Soren. Okay. And just to kind of deal with them, we can just use, yeah, Stefan on this guy. Oh my god, Astro, that's kind of overkill. He got crits a few times, too, so that was way overkill. Alright, well, it's good to I picked the steel sword and not something that's a little more valuable. Now, it looks like the hits that happen after he dies don't count as for their ability. But yeah, definitely the ones before that do count, so... Yeah, be careful about having uh, Stefan activate his uh, Astra ability while uh, he's using like something like his Vague Cotty or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and trade. Alright. And I guess because uh, there were some units that spawned over there. Um, that, oh shoot. Well, right, I guess I'll chill here. The spawn on the other side, I guess that on this turn, this next turn, there's going to be some units that spawn on this side. So I should have some guys get ready. Okay. I can stay there. Wrist. And then have it all happen over again. Oh wait, Riss is or Rayson's not in danger, is he? God, I hope not. Yeah, let's move him this way. Oh yeah, these guys are far away. They, he would not have been in danger. Okay. So you guys can stand there. And we'll just put Ike here so he can just draw in the other guys' uh, attacks. So there we go. We can have the sniper attack. Okay. And this again. Eesh. I should be careful about this. I'll, I'll have to heal Jill on the next turn. Unless I want her to die. Jill's pretty strong, but magic is something that she's not super strong against. These guys are gonna try to no avail, but they're, they will try to kill Ike. Okay. Ooh, nice. Aether. Boom. Yoke, level up. Two strength, two long, HP, up defense. Okay. Uh, no speed, or no skill, though. I might have to use that other secret book on Ike after all. As much as I do, would not like to. But I may have to. Okay. That's weird. Like, Ike hasn't really been leveling up the skills I've been wanting him to level up. Like, he's got really good defense. I guess that soldier band really helped him out. He got a lot of defense. But, like, things like skill and HP, I just feel like he's been lacking on those. Really strange, but... That's just kind of the pattern I've been seeing. Alright. One of these turns, we'll see, uh... You guys appear over on the right. Wow. Marcy is only a Falcon Knight. They're not supposed to have ridiculously high defense, but even against the Falcon Knight, the um, the bows still didn't really do that much damage. I guess that just shows just how nerfed bows are in this game. They used to have uh, three times uh, the normal might against flyers, but now they only have two times. Which is not that good. It nerfed him a little bit too much. Tomahawk. We'll send that back to the convoy. And, uh, we gotta heal you. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of HP. And yeah, we'll just keep her, uh, keep 
So those guys down there. Volk can be like right there, I guess. Alright. We can keep racing there now because the uh, those archers are gone. Alright. So to kind of make everyone a little bit more safe, I'm going to go ahead and unequip the weapons because I do not want to risk counterattacks on the priests. So, yeah. It's a good thing Ike has only range one. Uh-oh. Alright. Ooh, boy. Alright, Marcia took damage, but, you know, it's an acceptable amount. So, we'll just view back. And we'll again use our short spear. It doesn't look like it's quite enough. You know, I'm going to go ahead and trade Marcia for, like, someone else. Like, maybe Kieran. He's going to use a steel bow or a venom axe. I don't want Mist to be in too much danger, so I should have a retreat. Ike, Boyd, Marcia, Kieran. Alright, I'll have her kill uh, Marcia. Okay. Soren here. And, uh, unequip. Have you chant here. And then we'll have him back away. Okay. Attack, hand axe. Yeah, because I knew this guy would survive. So, if uh, if he did survive, then he would have been able to attack Rayson, and that's not ideal. And I don't want to have Sorn there, because then he'll attack this guy. So I can't really afford to have Sorn there either. Here, we'll put everyone like that. Alright, let's try this again. So yeah, Tominami will be trying to uh, attack Ike. Kind of because he has to. Oh no! I mean, that's not all that much, but still. Was that guy one with the men's staff? Yeah, he is. Okay, I definitely want to steal that then. Alright, let's hand axe it. Oh, come on. Hit him again. Oh, why? Are you serious? Come on. That's that's not that's not right. All right, we'll do this again. Let's try this again. If Kieran can't do it, then Jill can. I know she can. And we'll still move you back. Sixty-nine. I guess that's not the best hit rate, but still, to miss twice in a row like that. There we go. That's more like what I was expecting. And we got a level up. Alright, skill, speed, defense. Alright. No one's showed up there yet. That's fine. Alright, now we're gonna have to push these guys. So, I forgot. So, if we push this guy here, then these guys won't be open. So, do I have to push him there? Then I would have to push you. Ah, okay, I think I remember what to do. Alright, let's go ahead and unequip all of these. So items, unequip. Shove. Shove. And then shove you this way. Now we have to kill that guy. So, we can kill this guy. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I use a short range. I'll use the short range because it has a uh, better chance of hitting. So might as well. 
Alright. And now we just gotta make sure Jill doesn't stop on that tile. Ooh, weapon level up again. So she is she C rank? Yeah, she is. Good, good, good. Alright, and I'll have Soren also unequip his items. Alright, anyone in need of healing? Hmm. Jill, Ike. Alright, well, we could use Mend on Kieran. Okay. Oh, yeah, and he's got a silver bow already, so. There. And yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting to happen. But I unequipped the weapon, so there will be no counterattacks. Alright, and yeah, I figured these guys were going to show up at some point sooner or later. Alright. Wait a minute, you don't have any extra space, right? Alright. Well, time to deal with these guys. One hit, one kill. Okay. Try this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he'll be there. Alright. That's fine, I guess. We'll go ahead and take this guy out. And then I'll have uh Kieran backtrack a bit. Oh. Well, Okay, well we can still work with this. We'll just go ahead and uh, shove this guy. And then we'll just go ahead and... Um, go ahead and uh, trade. We'll take this silver bow. That way we'll have more space in the inventory. Okay. And Rayson can move back. And then Kieran can kind of move away, so now he won't kill Tominami, or Tominami. Okay. Steal a Menstaff. Oh wait, that's Ike. Okay. And he's got a Stiletto back on. I guess he just automatically equips that when he uh, steals or something. Just as long as I'm aware of that, I, I can try to minimize the impact that, that it could have. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this on. And it's a stretch, but we can try this. Figures. Did a lot of damage too, so that's not good. And we're gonna run away with Boyd. Physic on Void. We're gonna run away using Riss, so that way we can heal with him and not be in danger. Because, yeah, that's not a good look for him right now. If he is in range of that tiger, he's probably dead. And he still is in range of that tiger. Okay, well, I'll have to bring this out. There we go. He's safe, at least. Alright. So far, so good. We'll move Ike in a little closer. So Ike will be in range of those priests and the mages. But he should hopefully dodge. Oof. I hope they don't all just go for Boyd. They could, because he has the lowest defense, I think, out of those guys. So he would be a pretty reasonable target. Hey, okay, thank goodness, it's range 1, so no issues there. Okay. Hmm, I don't like that. We're gonna have to move those guys around. 
Oh, shucks. Please don't just go for Boyd. I really... Don't go for Boyd. Don't go for Boyd. Don't go for Boyd. Anything but going for Boyd. Or killing anyone else, I guess. Just don't kill anybody, please. Oh, God. He's going for Boyd. Dodge, Boyd. Please dodge. Oh, shit. Fuck. This chapter's speaking. Man, it already feels like it's taking forever. Oh, God. All right. Well, I guess got to restart again. Fucking hell. All right. Oh, so um, I was on autopilot like this whole time, and I didn't realize I was already turn 11. So I'm going to turn later than I uh, wanted to show up. But it's kind of the same scenario, so I guess I'm just a turn slower than normal. Um... So yeah, uh, nothing really too crazy happened, but it is, I'm, I have a feeling this is going to go a little bit better. Um, Boyd is still, like, dying, but this time it's just because he was poisoned for a long time and I kind of just kept forgetting to heal him, so this one's an easy solution. I did not have him fight the Lagoos this time. I had Kieran do that, so... Yeah, things are going a little bit better this time, but um, I still want to make sure that I uh, don't slip up, you know, just because I feel like it's going better doesn't mean I should start getting complacent now. But yeah, anyone got a free spot in inventory? You know? Okay, so no, no one does except for, um, except for Racing. He's got a lot of free inventory right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and take these so that um just so that uh Volk will be able to actually steal the weapons. And this guy he doesn't move, so don't worry about him too much. He's got two killer weapons, which is kinda of frightening. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have Volkway here. I'll still unequip the stiletto. And boy, I didn't realize how often I was gonna be using that dumb thing, but yeah, I've been using it like a lot. I only have two uses of it left. But yeah, so anyway, I guess I'll have to come back to the dagger. I didn't realize that I would be using uh, Volk so much for combat, but lo and behold, here we are. Anyway, I'm gonna have Volk steal this guy's uh, Volner, or er, his men staff. And I'm gonna have Raisin sing to him so that he can get away from the the killer bow. And then we'll have uh, Ike kind of deal with it. And Ike's got 19 dodge, so he'll have the best chance of not getting crit by that guy. But yeah, this guy is still pretty scary because he, he's got two different kinds of weapons that can do well. They have a pretty decent chance of getting crits. And I just realized, Raisin's time is probably almost up, huh? Shoot. Yeah, that'll present a bit of a problem now, wouldn't it? Well, it's a good thing he's not in range of the killer bow guy, because that'll uh, really screw things up. But yeah, if they attack Raisin, actually, I think it'll be, it'll be good if they... Uh, attack racing because in this game there's uh the herons do not get the penalties of being attacked like i think in radiant dawn there's like penalties if they get attacked like uh if racing gets attacked like his gauge actually kind of like goes down but uh in this game it's treated the same as all the other gauges so actually it'll go up faster and because he has 22 resistance these guys aren't gonna hurt him at all they only got 14 attacks so he's totally fine Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unequip Ike's Steel Sword just to be safe. And yeah, if only I had like two racins, you know. Imagine if I had like two racins so I could race and race in, you know. Sing to race in. Although I'm pretty sure that would be stupidly overpowered and broken. Imagine if we could have two singers sing for each other. Then you you could literally have infinite turns. Especially how Raisin can um, sing for four people at a time. It's too... It'd be too bad, like too broken. You couldn't, you shouldn't have that. But anyway, 
I'll just keep Ike over here. And I'll just have Mist be over here. I'm pretty sure she can still reach way the heck out there, so. Yeah, plus she could go there and run back. So I'm not too worried about her range. And yeah, Volk is gonna get attacked. Because he's the only one in range, that guy. But yeah, so far so good. And just to make sure, yep. You can reach. We got a brand new physics staff. So now what we gotta do is just get Volk out of range of Killer Axe. And we are good to go. Alright, we just need now Ike... You need to kill this guy. Look at that. He's got a 19 crit on us still. But he's only got a 38% chance to hit. So it's actually kind of working out in our favor. I could try to help even out the odds a bit. By having, um... Stefan... Give the killer edge. But you know what? It's going to take too long to send him there. I'm going to just have to take my chances... I'm really crossing my fingers that no crits happen. So, let's see. Ah, so you made it this far, have you? Tell me, how many pathetic priests did you have to kill to get here? Come on, five? More? They're pretty scrawny. You could have taken out at least ten or so without breaking a sweat. Cowardly cur. Time to stop hiding and fight like a man. Okay, 16. Oh, <gasps> no! Oh, okay, it was just Colossus. Holy fuck. When I saw that, I thought it was, um... I thought it was Wrath. I don't know why. I guess it was the red, but if Colossus... Under certain conditions, increases damage when the unit's constitution exceeds enemies. Colossus actually really sucks. So, yeah, it only increases the damage by an extremely minimal amount. I think it's based off of how much higher the constitution is than the other. I only got, like, three... And, uh, that's not a lot. But yeah, when I saw the red go off, I was like, holy fuck, he got, he's got Wrath? But he's not even at half health. And yeah, what Wrath does is it massively increases the critical chance. So if he had, a uh, a killing axe, which he does, a killer axe would, like, guarantee a crit, basically. It's ridiculous. Oh well, yeah, you know what? I could have race and have him attack twice, actually. Might be a bit risky to have him do that, though. But looks like Ike would be able to survive a crit, because that would do 24 damage. So, yeah, I, I guess I'm not too worried about it. Unless he gets Colossus and a crit, then that might be bad. I totally forgot this guy could even get Colossus. Anyway, yeah, he's gonna hit Ike. You know, now we're in trouble a bit. But again, we can have Mist save the day. And now we just need to have Rayson sing for Ike. And then, because he's got the Night Ring, he can run away. So he won't be in range of the guy's killer bow. So I'm pretty sure that would kill Rayson, like, on the spot. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, take him out. We'll use the Steel Sword. That has a 100% chance, but 92, I'm comfortable with this. So let's do it. Boom! Should've brought more priest. Or some babies. Dang. Yeah, you're dead, bud. Alright, finally. Jeez, that's tap I guess it's all the restarts, right? It just... And I guess it was, like, 13 chap... Or, turns? Still not as long as the last chapter, but... Man, it just feels like it took so long because of all the restarts. How many restarts was that? Like, two, three... Four, like, I think it was five restarts. Just over dumb stuff, for the most part. But finally, we're done. Oh my god. Alright, let's just read this and be done with it. Thank you very much. I never would have imagined that we would be rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. There's no way we'd cut down innocent priests being forced to fight against their wills. 
Father, we bear no ill will towards the kingdom of Dane itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland which was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We had no desire to invade this land. If no left nothing else, please believe that. I beg your pardon, may I have the favor of your name? Alencia Rydell Crimea. I am the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you. Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. And please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Danes who do not support the king's actions. I understand. My young general, this is for you. Huh? As thanks for saving our lives. You got the Ashra staff. It's super good, but you know, I can't use it, so we'll just send it to the convoy. No one can use it yet, actually. It's S rank. Anyway, now it's time to search this place. My lord Ike, may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending up. Ike, Ike, where are you? Mist, I'm over here. Ike, this way, quickly! Grayson's in trouble! What? Grayson, what is it? He's been like this from the moment he set foot in this room. He's just staring at the walls. It's like there's a lot of ancient writing on the walls. Okay. What is all this? Every wall has the same pattern on it. It's not a pattern. It's an ancient language. All chants and spells and magical scrolls are written thusly. Can you read it, Soren? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is a complex narrative. I think Prince Rayson could read it. I bet he has this, this is the same language that Leanne was speaking. It is. It is the Serenus language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So, Rayson's reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Mist, how did you not figure that out? He's looking at the wall, just staring at this. And there's all these little symbols. It, it, maybe you would think, oh, maybe that's just a different language that he understands, right? I don't know. I just feel like maybe that's a bit of an overreaction to think that he's struggling or he's in deep trouble because he's looking at a wall with symbols on it. But, eh, well. Shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. Ike! What is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room sometime in the past. You don't know who it was, do you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this? I think it may have belonged to whoever was in prison in this room. I apologize. I took much of your time. Grayson, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest for a bit? No, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Was it in that room? Soren found it. Whose was it? Lilia, my older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. You have an older sister too? Will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped 20 years ago on the night of the Serenus Massacre. I... I thought that Lilia had been murdered along with my other brothers and sisters. I believe that until today. Who took her? The wall says that it was... Only that he was a large human. She probably never knew who it was. Oh, interesting. He's saying human again instead of Bayork. He kind of let that slip, I guess. I wonder if that's a typo or if he genuinely like slipped that up, like racing the character, not the writers. He thrust a clan treasure at her and commanded that she use her right. <clears throat> he thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the thing sealed inside of it. Sorry, he's using Ike voice for a bit. He exhorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time because she did not possess that power. Someone wanted to revive the Dark God. Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. 
I'm not surprised. It was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room with no view of the earth or sky. Oh, that's off. Sniff, sniff. Missed. I'm sorry, I, I just feel so sad for Lilia. And for Rayson, too. I beg your pardon, let me continue. A young Bayork began coming into the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes. And her heart was unusually pure for a Bayark. In time, Lilia and she came to be friends and shared a mutual trust. Ah! Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to the woman. They shared no common language, so it took some time. But eventually the Bayark woman understood what it was Lilia wanted. Which was to take the treasure and the song and flee this temple. Brother! Was there anything else written about this Bayork woman? A name, perhaps? Elena, uh, how was this? Let me look at my... Elena. Translated into our language, it was probably Elena. I knew it! Mother! It was our mother. What? Are, are you sure? Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, her hair was blue, as were her eyes. Grayson, the object you refer to you know, as your clan treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? How... how did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake. The song, too, my parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Mist are Lena's children? Then Laren's medallion is here? Um... um... The medallion was stolen, probably by Dan can't this is unbelievable can a thing like this be chance to be honest I don't fully understand what's all that's happened but it all makes sense it all comes together ah a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Raisin and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It is the song of release, the one Lilia entrusted to Elena. But, but I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night, and nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be released just by anyone, or unleashed by just anyone. The true song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altina. Lilia wanted, or Lilia wanted your mother to take the melody to Altina and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serenus Forest. The story's becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother who was carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you... Volk told me. He told me about my father's past and the amulet, and the Dark God too. So you know everything. King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? Or you know, that's racist tongue. King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murder was unknown! Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. He was a Dane soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man who killed Commander Graham? I tell me! Can we discuss this later? Oh. Yes. Yes, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer. Our enemy remains unchanged. King Dayan and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Rayson said the same thing earlier, but could all of this really be mere coincidence? The fall of Crimea, Mike's parents, the death of Rayson's sister, 
The fact that everything leads back to Dan. If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lilia is one thing, but the assassination of the former, former apostle? The framing and destruction of my nation? If it was all part of Dan's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I... I... The reason I fight... Anyway, um... Priests survive. We got 420 for that. And we got 210 for turns to clear. So I guess we did a little bit faster than this was expected. But yeah, regardless, um, we got 630 bonus experience, which is always nice. And now we have a total of 1319. So, yeah. All right. We're making some headway in the story. It looks like a lot was just revealed right now. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I guess what happens is that Ashnard was the one who was responsible for assassinating the previous apostle. I don't know if it was him himself or if he had someone else do it. But either way, um, he was responsible and he tried to get Lilia to unleash the Dark God, just like he's trying to do now. And of course, he ended up killing her, which is probably why he's used to like um, to how weak the Herons are. <laughs> but... um yeah anywho um oh wait i don't even think we got to that part in the story yet where he mentions how weak karens are oops little spoiler but not a major spoiler but anywho um so yeah king ashnard is definitely planning something uh as for why he wants to release a dark god that's going to destroy the continent we still don't really know but uh we definitely know that is what he's trying to do but anyway uh pretty tired now we spent forever on that stupid chapter with all the restarts and everything so i just want to go to sleep but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and uh i hope to see you guys in the next video until then later